when it comes to adolescent sexual reproductive health, it's still very tied up to the culture and that takes time to be changed, but there is a will. There is a will in, in the government, there is a will in the education sector and programs such as the Accelerator uh, are very key, they're very um, instrumental in shifting the dynamic because you are now in a dynamic where young people are not the ones who receive the information and they have to absorb the information. They actually go uh, themselves, look for the right information and share it to their peers. And I think we should encourage that not only in East Africa, but across the continent. The Burundian refugee camp is hosting over 50,000 young people, children like those people young women and men. The first time in the camp was in 2015. Where we, come, we came here in a public health program. So we kept seeing many young people moving around. But among them was many young mothers carrying children. So our first impression was that we were asking ourselves if this pregnancy was really wanted. But unfortunately, they were having many unintended pregnancy rates. We were thinking to teach them about sexual reproductive health, but it was not possible. The distance from the campus to the camp was too long. So we were thinking of a more sustainable solution that can solve the problem with us being at the campus and them being here and then teaching them. So we thought of using ICT as the bridge. So the Tantin app is the application where young people can come and learn about reproductive health then about youth mentorship so that they can take the good decisions about their health in the future. For people in the camp to access the internet, they don't have smartphone or they don't have enough facilities. That's why we thought of bringing those tablets and establishing a center where they can come and then access the internet in the camp. So we are going to equip them with those tablets and then a router with Wi-Fi so that they can come in a quiet room and then they can go through our apps and website and they can ask different questions. Here is the number of the topics. There is sexual education, common questions, the mentorship, the women's hospital, the parenthood and the menstruation cycle. Then when you click on one category like for the common question, you see a lot of number of the articles inside the category. So young people cannot make decisions, cannot breed their countries if they are pregnant, if they are having diseases, if they are having HIV. So it's important that every young girl in Rwanda, every young girl in the camp, every young girl in Africa must be having the information about reproductive health. You have also young people who are in the community who are not in schools, those young people and youth, they also need that information. So you have really to have uh, an approach which is holistic and which is also multi-sectoral so that at least each and every young person can have access to that information. One of the key initiatives like a like DCI Accelerator where now we are promoting like innovation in the area of uh, sexual and reproductive health. Because we know that information in school or in books is not enough. So innovation is going to be critical because now with the ICT uh, penetration in Rwanda, it gives us really, you know, opportunity, you know, to scale up, you know, cover it. Our vision is to be able to tell stories regarding the sexual reproductive health and health rights of young girls and boys. We grew up believing that the more ignorant you are about SRH, the purer you are, the purer minded you are. And I'm realizing you need to know as much as possible to make the best decisions as possible. So we had to first internalize that as a team, everybody here, before we take it to the girls, before we take it to the boys. Um, so personally, that's been the biggest challenge. We're still learning into it, saying uh, those crazy words, penis, vagina, out loud is something that we need to do as often as possible without blushing. My question to you is, what have you heard about virginity, positive or, or negative, and how is it impacting you? How is it affecting you? 
we all know that things we watch influence what we think like movies music videos things like that and in those movies and the books we read they like emphasize that sometimes they say that being a virgin is not cool our tagline is to break the awkward uh, we realize that uh, young girls and boys do not talk about uh, their sexuality, their sexual behaviors, and all those different things. And we're trying to create platforms to make it easier and to give them the confidence that they need um, to talk about them. Mike is our wonderful illustrator, and he's the one who's kind of gonna make everything more visual. So we have the story, and we kind of think about, okay, what's the storyline going to be? How do we make this crop up in the storyline? So he's able to kind of, okay, how do I make this thought more into an image that they can relate to, but still sort of package it in this comic book in a way that they actually read and then they actually get without making it too obvious. What we want is to be real to the situation they face. Um, we want to be able to talk to, to the girl who goes home to a stepfather that might be um, molesting her or doing things that she does not agree with. We want to be able to be relevant to a girl who's just started dating. We have two girls who have uh, just started dating two months in a relationship. How do we stay relevant to their reality? Um, and not making decisions for them, but making decisions with them. When you have young boys and young girls reading those books, they can identify. And such stories are not yet available on the market. And that's why we thought, yes, let's give them a chance. Let's encourage them. But the unique um, aspects of Girl District is that they do not stop at the booklet. They go beyond that and they created a mentorship program which they are currently uh, implementing in different schools around Rwanda. This program, which is mobilizing young people and empowering them to have enough skills to work for them and also uh, to be the, the models for their peers, it will help the Rwanda population to be more involved in programming, in implementation of different projects elaborated for them, and also to make sure that they are comfortable to use uh, the existing services uh, supported by the government and different partners.